real cases before a real judge. And now, enter the courtroom of Judge Mathis. Plaintiff Bernina Marbury says the defendant is one of her five siblings, and she claims he went down the wrong path when he was younger. Bernina allowed the defendant and his wife to move in with her after he was released from prison, but she's suing him today for a loan and rent. Defendant Timmy Welch says when he and his wife were staying with Bernina, she was always in his business. And she even walked in the bedroom while he and his wife were having sex. Timmy says he only agreed to repay Bernina once he started working, but he still doesn't have a full-time job. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. Here come the judge. You may now be seated. How you doing, sir? You going to jail. <laughs> right. State your name. My name is Bernina Marbury. All right. Your name, sir? How you doing, sir? My name is Timmy Welch. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what's going on. First of all, I'll start, I'd like to start off by saying that I am one of your greatest fans. I watch your show every day, and you have been doing a phenomenal job. Thank you. Whoever gave the meaning that blood is thicker than water, whoever gave it that meaning truly don't know what that meaning is as far as my brother is concerned. My brother... It's not truly honor. <laughs> There's another saying. You can choose your friends, but you can't choose your family. That's right. Exactly. That's You're absolutely mm. right. And you just got to put up with them. <laughs> you can put up with them, but they don't have to be your friend. I know that's right. <laughs> absolutely. Go ahead. Our relationship has been good. You know, there's a huge age difference between a, my brother and myself. There's like a 10 to 12 year age difference. Between How old them. are you? I'm 41. No. Yes, I am. That's not true, Yana. I had you pick. <laughs> <laughs> I know, she couldn't be no more than 30. I'm telling you. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. I am the second to the oldest with a family of six. And my mom was a single parent mm. raising her six children, wow. which is four brothers. I have four brothers and one sister, mm. okay? And I've always been like the strong force to the family, the go-to person, the one that was more established, the one that was more structured. And um, yeah, my mom, whenever he would get into any type of trouble, I would be the one she would call. If he gets suspended, he would come to my house. I had him reading. I had him cleaning. Oh, my God. You know, I gave him guidance. I, I was a big influence in Good. his life. What city are you all from? Chicago, Illinois. We from the shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we from Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Go ahead. I got four brothers. Mm -hmm. And um, all on the wrong path. It's tough. Yeah. A lot of peer pressure yeah, if you that's, came that's, up that's in exactly a tough neighborhood. And, it was and, even tough on me, yeah. you know, so. Because in uh, most uh, gang and drug infested neighborhoods, which sounds like where you all had to live. Right. Um, in Chicago, the peer pressure is so heavy, either you joining up or you being victimized. Go ahead, sir. You want to give me some background before we get to the loan and the rent? Sure. I'm gonna start off like this. I'm happy to see you, uh, Mr. Mathis, good Judge Mathis. I watch the show every day, so you. you know I like you, man. You my you man. We right here. All you right. feel me? <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm gonna start it off. You know, first of all, Judge Mathis. You know, I went to prison. You know, what I mean, that was the first bad decision I made in my life. When did you go to prison? I went to prison. Well, the first time I went, I was 17 years old. You know what I mean? Got hooked now, up with the let, gangs. Let, 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 let's, let's go back to what you just told All me. All right. You said, I went to prison because I made a mistake mm -hmm. and I made the wrong turn. Yeah. And then you said, the first time I went to prison. <laughs> if you went back, you yeah, must not have learned your see, lesson. Judge Mathis, you got to understand. You feel me? I understand I was perfectly. Let I me was just say this. I got to say this. Go ahead. Now, speaking at a prison, uh -huh. as I do uh, mm -hmm. pretty often, I don't need your commentating. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I was talking about some people suggest that there's some type of conspiracy to keep uh, particularly black men, to keep them down and to criminalize them. <laughs> And I gave the other side, and the other side is some people think that black men just are not manning up and doing the best they can. That's some people. 
think that. So I was saying that, and then one of the prisoners said, Judge, Judge, yeah, that's what I believe. I believe it's a conspiracy. I believe that they're trying to keep the black man down. <laughs> I've always believed that. He said, because I remember, I remember the first time I was in prison. <laughs> I said, hold on, sir, you just said that you believed it was a conspiracy all along. So if you knew the first time you were in prison that it was a conspiracy, why the hell are you back in prison? <laughs> right, true that. So that's true all that. I got to say to you. If you knew you had made the wrong turn the first time, particularly if you think that somebody is trying to conspire to keep you down and it's the system this and it's the system that, then why you make yourself vulnerable to the system? Why you walk right back into the system and say, hey, lock me up. I want to be part of the conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Go ahead. You know, I, I went to the joint when I was 17 years old. Uh -huh. Got hooked up in the gangs and uh -huh. got involved in drugs. So and, did I, know, all of that. And, Okay, I learned from I, I I thought I learned from my mistake because I got out when I was 20. You know what I mean? And I moved away from the city. But the second worst thing that ever happened to me was staying with Nene. You feel me? <laughs> what did she do? Nene is so controlling. She nags me. You need You know, it. she all in my space. Trying to me, keep look, you out of jail. Judge, me and my wife will be upstairs. I'm trying to make a baby. You know what I'm talking about? And she come and knocked on the door come, no, and said, you no can't knocking. afford no yep. baby, judge so my. you better stop. <laughs> No. She did right. No, look, look. She look. did right. Ain't no knocking. That's right. Hey, I think it's a conspiracy it. right now. Look this is a conspiracy right day. now, you know? <laughs> but she don't knock. She just come on in. I'm you got at least knock, man. And, she just, <laughs> and then she got another to pull up a chair and sit out. What up, bro? Nene, you lying. serious? I'm naked. You come and sit. <sighs> pull up a chair? That's right. Tell on, you Nene. can't afford the activity right. you involved in, so stop it. Right. That's what she did. So I go downstairs. You. I go downstairs, <laughs> and me and my wife, I have a cocktail on the couch. We'll chill together, talk. She'll come right in me. What Take up, bro? Take that drink. Where you, how you affording right. drinks? Okay. Nene, I just told you like two hours ago, I need privacy. Now you come and sit in the middle of us now? Come on, <laughs> Nene. Where's my money? You know what I'm saying? Look, I told her, happy I don't need a mama. So I got one already. We got the same mama. I don't need another one. Me and my wife will be upstairs. I'm trying to make a baby. You know what I'm talking about? And she come and knocked on the door come, no. and said, you no can't knocking. afford no yeah. baby, Just so not. you better stop. <laughs> no. She did right. No, look, look. She look. did right. Look. Ain't no knocking. Plaintiff Bernina Marbury is suing her brother, who claims while he and his wife live with Bernina, she was so controlling that she even walked in on him and his wife having sex. Go ahead. It's true what she said when I used to get suspended from school. My mom used to sit over, I see me over at our house. That's now right. I'm thinking as a shorty, you know, to my, I'm thinking everything, hey, this big sis, Nene, I'm finna come over, pile late, kick it, chill, you feel me? I come over, put my feet on the couch, turn on the TV, go in the refrigerator. She's like, hold on, bro, what you doing? That's you right. can't, you suspended from school. You can't come over here like, like this is a hangout spot. There you go. You know what I right. mean? This ain't the hangout. So, there you go, see? Right. Right. Oh, hold on, okay. <laughs> That's not for y'all to clap, though, you know what I mean? <laughs> but. <laughs> So she'll give me a book, the same book every time, The Whipping Boy. Right. And I had to do a book report on that book every time. That's right. I hated I it. I did it. And then look, she know I don't like potato salad. Now, but I come hate on, potato salad. No, going listen, no. Let's look, get to this the This is how she used to go, she used to go be, be trying to control me. That's right. I, you I needed hate. control. Go oh, ahead. Judge, Let's I get to it. I just wanted to keep him in line and give him a good sense of Absolutely. direction. Absolutely. You did right. All right. How does he owe you for loan and rent? OK. He got out of prison. He lost everything during the time he was in prison. He had even faced an eviction during that time. You know, um, he got evicted. I got a phone call saying, your brother Stings is out on the ground. You need to come over here and get him. I knew he was facing some time, you know, and I went over there to get, all, get his things. Everything was gone. I mean, and he's the type of person, he live a, a, a lavish life. He buy the most expensive shoes. He got every pair of mics you can name. You know, he wear the most, most expensive clothing. Every hat got to be fitted. It's got to be a, a name on it. True and he religion. spent a lot of money, even on the Black appliance. Label, but he know? always displayed himself as a responsible person to where when he did have a job, I never had a problem with him getting a job. Mm -hmm. When he did have a job, he paid his rent, he paid his bills until he got into trouble with the jail. But he was paying, taking responsibility as an adult. Good. You know, so when he got out of prison, he said, sis, you know what, I, I am in a situation. You know, I said, I know you in a situation. He was like, I need, I need some money. I have no clothing. How much did you loan him? $850. And when was that? 
July of 2011. And he hasn't paid you any of it yet? He hasn't paid me a dime. Tell me of about that money. the rent. How much do you want in rent? I ha in rent for well, altogether is $4,300. Okay. No, I need to know specifically, though, okay. what part is rent and what part is uh, loan. Sir, okay. you want to tell me about the loan? Yeah, sure. Because she fabricating everything over mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she's doing over there. Mm -hmm. He's shaking. Mm -hmm. That's right, y'all. You, <laughs> you know? He's look, lying, Your Honor. Look. I, okay, true enough, I got the joint for the second time. I heard all that. Did you it was a party going money on for from me. her, sir? It was a, a party going on for me, and I had the state clothes on. And I said, yes, my, I can't go to my party looking like this. Sir, so my, did you yes. borrow money from her? $850. Well, I got the money from did her, you, yeah. You borrowed it? Did well, you yeah. agree to repay it? Wait, wait, yeah. All right, let's get to the <laughs> So Let's get to the rent. <laughs> He owes $550 a month with a total of $3,450. Sir, do total. you owe for the rent? Well, no. Why not? Because, Diana. Did you ever agree to pay rent? Well, yeah, when I got a job. Okay. That was your agreement when you got a job? Well, yeah. That's Have you got a job money. yet? Do I got a job yet? Yes. Well, I do temporary, temporary work, like All warehouse right, then work then that's or a job. $3,850. He has a job now, he says, as temporary as it might be. He still has a job, and that's when he agreed to pay okay. by his own admission. $4,300 is your judgment for the loan and the rent. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you so much. This is some bull man. How is that? Because, How man, that? you we know I give you my lead card in every month, man. I'm not going to care about the tears, though. Yeah. I'm not going to care about All the right. tears. Okay. Tears? I ain't going to cry. I took you and your wife in, and I didn't even know her. Nene, okay? Nene. You come, you pop up at my house with a girl that's 10 years younger than you talking about, let's run down, come on, I got somewhere to take you. We end up in a courthouse. Seriously. We end up in a courthouse, and y'all getting married? Nene, and what? I'm, 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 now, I'm... <laughs> the maid of honor, he the best man? That's I mean, that's bro. irresponsible. <laughs> that's not. irresponsible. You, know what? you end up, I don't know, you see what I'm, <laughs> oh, so that's what it is.